Broadcasters in wrestling have a lot of information to get across. They must also react to the environment, but it's not always possible to be on point 100% of the time. Therefore, slip-ups and botches are common, from getting names wrong to waiting anxiously with anticipation. His name is Jeff Harvey. Hardy. The stumbling over words with Kyrie saying back your screen. Jeez, I can't talk. <laughs> all, I don't know what just happened. I think I just had like a personal glitch. The Royal <laughs> it's a straight up crazy comments. Jerry Lawler has bruised ribs and he's also suffering from, from anal bleeding. What? We'll have it all today as we highlight a whole load of commentary and announcer mic mishaps. Fans will remember the coach from his first run with WWE where he played an entertaining heel announcer and authority figure. <laughs> When he returned in 2018, the company didn't want him to be the same character. They preferred him to be a serious sport analyst, just as he'd been at ESPN. This meant Coachman struggled to fit in on commentary, as he played third wheel to Michael Cole and Corey Graves. Coach upset the dynamic. He rarely added much, and often made silly statements which his broadcast partners ridiculed him for. We never really established that it had to be a tag team. No, it, Wait, we, it did, we did, I mean, Coach. It was a tag team. Oh, oh well, I know. I'd love to see, like, an athletic competition between Bobby and Apollo Crews. Athletic competition and what happens in the ring every time the bell rings. Is Rhino going to WrestleMania? Rhino? No, Rhino's not Rhino's in the back. Right. That's who it looked like from the back. Very few men can knock The Undertaker oh. off his feet. Oh, Cena just knocked Kane off his feet. My bad. What does the bar mean? No. That means that we don't just set the bar. We are the bar. Right, what, no. does, what does that mean? No, Coach, they've been saying it for a year, though. Well, I think this might be an advantage for Ronda Rousey, to be honest no. with you. I, I, it's allowing Ronda Rousey to get a little bit of a rest. A gather, rest? Gather How rest, guys. are you still employed, Coach? He's wearing blue tonight. Is that... It's been Ballard projecting... You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Mike Adamley learned this all too well after debuting in WWE. I accidentally called Jeff Hardy, Jeff Harvey. Unfortunately for Adam Lee, he was never able to redeem himself after that first botch. And that's because he pretty much messed up every time he appeared on television. Already three legends, superstar, legendary superstars. And my purpose is to be here tonight to say, and I love working for the ECW. I'm not going to complain about your announcing. The line's too long. They are a fleet. Come home. Now to Eminem, Morrison, and Miz both working on Kane. Back of Kane's Johnny, left knee, now Johnny, working that up. leg, trying to work the figure four. Well, not really. He's got like a leg ball on him. William Regal felt that he was disrespected, so he... Res William Regal felt like he was disrespected, so he... Did res the Samoan Bulldog going to SmackDown. Bulldozer, Bulldozer. Bulldozer of Extreme. Well, I'm Mike Adamley alongside the Taz. Glad you could join us. That's right, the Adamley, and I'll tell you, Mike. An announcer and the worst one in history at that. I guess Nick never heard of Mike Adamley. After just a few months on commentary, Adamley was then named Raw General Manager, where he was now able to carry a script around with him in order to prevent further botches. There once was a man who wasn't con taken very seriously. I'm definitely not going to have it to me. I'm not going to let it happen. In a gauntlet match. In a gauntlet match. They, they tried to feed you lines, and I and I kind of went along with the, okay, he's a bubble, bubblehead is not a dunderhead is what I was called in one of the WWE, uh, the lovable dunderhead, you know. So I, I played that role for a while. Adam Lee was later diagnosed with a brain injury that was beginning to take shape around this time, hence the memory issues. In reality, Mike was a nice guy who maintained a good attitude despite the difficult time he had in WWE. The haters, you're still the man. What? You are still the man. Forget everyone. Don't listen to him. You're the man. No, I listen to him. It's okay. Yeah. You know what? Because you learn something from the fans. That's right. He was put in a tough spot, but it says more about the company that they would put someone on television who knows so little about their product. This is something WWE had done before and would continue to do again in the future. Let's now shine the light on a variety of blunders from different announcers over the years. Here comes Rusev. Maybe not. Stand by. Clear the tracks. Here we go. We're going to need a bigger boat. Oh, watch out here in front of us. What kind of boat do you know that operates on tracks, Berg? The Bullet Club is for everyone. That would be Balor Club. That's what I said. I got a speech impediment tonight. There's still a United States title match coming, gentlemen. Fire! I'm sorry. 
She's tired of the distractions. She's tired of the, I don't know, shit, whatever you want to call it. That all Truth will get a chance to get his baby back as he takes on the 24-7 champion Riddle of Reginald. Right to the canvas, covered by Nikki Jax. It's over. Listen to this. You ready? Where's he at? Come on. Bilingual? There's a lot of bi things I am, but lingual is not one of them. Hey, wait a minute. Did I just mean to say that? I don't think you did, but be that as it may, we're live. Before we are joined to commentary by The Miz and our truth You guys had a match. Uh, oh, excuse me, Miz and Kingston. Thank you. You guys. Randy Orton, the new champion, versus CM Punk. Well, the vintage Apex Predator Randy Orton goes in with the experience. He ought to strap a bucket of fried chicken on his back and ride a motor scooter across Ethiopia. Impress me, Lawrence Taylor. That's what I dare you to do. King Kofi Kingston also has a nice ring to it. Not so nice on the initials. Look at the look at the arm of Buff Bagwell. Now, does, Wait, you, does anyone know that's nice Buff Bagwell of, of Scott Stone? He was successful in just using his Six. mouth to get the man off. Wait a minute! Wait! wait. No. Easy. What the fuck are you doing? Easy. I think the brain is left. We'll also highlight some moments from Pro Football Hall of Famer Art Donovan, whose guest appearance at the King of the Ring is considered amongst the worst announcing performances in wrestling history. Donovan had no idea who any of the wrestlers were and kept asking how much each one weighed. Who's the guy leading? That's Shawn Michaels. Was he another wrestler? No, how much does that guy weigh? We'll now highlight some good commentators that had a tendency to botch every now and again. We'll start with Taz, someone who has given us many funny pronunciations over the years. A very controversial... The human suplex machine's choice of words were quite interesting. Even if what he said was a bit out there, it was still insightful in its own unique way. The doctor of fuck down and do doctor of some Okay, I'll try doctor, again. You got it? Doctor of fuck anomics. I guess we're about to see an expo exposition. Exhibition. That too. So this guy can fly then, right? This is a penguin. Penguins don't fly. They got wings, right? Yeah, they have wings. As you pointed out, the metamorphosis that she's a bit of say, help me out there. See, I can't explain you don't baffle. Right to that massive skull-like head, that big type right ahead of the big show. And here Marcus Covan. Grabs it, Corvan. Corvan. Kind of rolls off the tongue. I don't know how to say it. I said it right. Yeah. I'd love for him to get his hands on Alex Apahama. Apahant, 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 Apahantis. Shabai, they probably have some extra pain for you. Look, he's not even out here. All right. <laughs> We're in San Francisco. They got well, they got the Bay Bridge here. They got the Golden uh, the Golden Gimmick Bridge. The Golden Gimmick Bridge. Right? The, 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 I, I, I think we're staring at the Golden Gimmick Bridge right now. Bending and moving easily and gracefully, flexibly. Fle Damn it, flexible. Tell the lawyer. I'm reading's not my strength. Page, Madam Jezebel. Oh, he's still off. Oh, look at that. That's Ruby Riot. Ruby Riot. Come on, Ruby. It's a very large, angry vampire mounting you and pounding you. Not good. You don't want to be ridden right now. You want to, you want to get rid by, by Bobby Lashley. You don't want Lashley on top of you. Did you just say get rid? Oh, well, Miz, a chick man flanked by uh, Kayla. Kayla Kelly. I'm all tongue tied here. Kicks, punches, whatever you want to call it, attacking the knee of Chavo Guerrero. I'm sorry, of Kane. You got me all flustered out. I'm starting to pull an Adam Lee on you here. Michael Cole has provided the lyrics to countless great moments, but it hasn't been all home runs for the voice of WWE. Many fans have given Cole a hard time for his mistakes. He has a long rap sheet of different botch types. They range from mixing up wrestlers' names. Cover now by Belaka. Belaka? Belaka, you Bell stupid Bell idiot. Her name is Bianca Belair. Candice Michelle. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stuck in 2008. That was indeed <laughs> Candice LeRae. Darren Young will start things off against uh, Darren Young. Axel's talking to Drew Axel, who's down here on commentary with us here tonight. What did you just call him, Cole? How dare you disrespect Drew Gulak? Oh, Drew Gulak, I Sorry. invited Mr. An elbow right to the chest of Ambrose. <laughs> so it's Kofi Kingston non-title battle against Zack Ziggler, the uh, Long Island IC in this match. Bel Air and Sasha Banks. Well, this no, is this no, is no. Bianca Belair and Selena Vega. Elias now has dinner where he wants him into the drift away. Did you just call him dinner? That's gender. Edge won the 2010 Royal Rumble. He chose his former tag team partner, his former friend Edge. Team Carr, the the only one left in the ring. It's That's Carr. Callisto. That is Callisto. Get them right. The car's down here on the floor. Passed out. It was eliminated. Ooh. Kofi Rhodes knocked off the top rope by you, Jericho. 
Did you say Kofi Rhodes? Yeah. Somebody's Jamaican you crazy, huh, Michael Cole? Calling moves wrong. <laughs> oh, oh. Dean Ambrose, pedigree! She lost to Biggie later on. Oh my oh, god! On. Blue Thunder Pop! That, that was Actually. a Michinoku driver, Cole. I'm gonna save you from the internet tonight. Thank you very much. Has begun! No. No slam. Nice power slam by Randall. Legendary Undertaker. No. Oh, it's Batista! What strength! What a power bomb! New champion! Still has the triangle trunk locked into the locked into Heidenreich here. The Undertaker doesn't. Yeah. And if yeah. you can wear the Heidenreich yeah. out, it's triangle choke, not triangle can... choke, whatever you said. Yeah. You can allow me to call him. Butchering words. Enterless. Enterless oh. again. Antlerless. Ant what you, 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 just again. don't. Is this your first week on the job? You know what, ma what match has interest to me tonight? That is the, tonight when I take on Jared Lawler and the Kiss My Foot match. Jared. I received another manager from the. Another email from the general manager. Making sus statements. I had uh, 500 pounds of men on top of me. Big dog eats. I mean, come on already. He's already damaged the knee. Big dog eats my ass. Rey Mysterio not sucking off anybody. The matchup that is presented by Jolly Rancher. Keep on sucking. What? And just general screw ups. Murphy taps out. Cesaro with the win. Uh, I think Murphy's still in. Who's getting the future? We need to come and play. Yeah, Batista is the women's champion. And tell us about a flag match. I mean, the, the rules are simpler. You got to climb the pole, grab a flag, and you win, right? Yeah, you just told him the rules, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> it is scary how strong the bull really is. Why, why is it scary? I don't know. Oh, uh, you get Thought scared. Thought it sounded good. No way! It's a base! And a kick out! A kick out by Sasha! No! Here is her winner! She won! This isn't your traditional steel cage. You can get a finger caught in there. A finger caught in there. Reverse now. J.D. McDonough, who's still trying to get himself into the judgment gate, they're going to attack Cody Rhodes as well. After 13 years, Bret Hart spits in the face of Montreal. Triple H wants Y2J. Y2J. Delivered an RKO to a distressed and panicked Stephanie McMahon, Triple H's husband. One of Michael's biggest blunders occurred at WrestleMania 15. Cole spoiled the result of the main event by saying that the new WWF champion would appear on the Home Shopping Network after the event. Post-game comments, we'll hear from the new WWF champion. You'll have a chance to buy some exclusive merchandise. We can all agree Jim Ross is the greatest commentator of all time, but when you've been in the game as long as JR, you're bound to have a few slip-ups. And you won't miss a thing, and we'll be right back. And folks, when we say you won't miss a thing, by God, we, we mean it. it. Cause they ain't fucking moving. That fiery redhead has been looking for Lita Corona. And a sit down slam. A bunch of power bomb. Look at that. A couple inches. Yes. And that's a one occasion where a couple of inches did all the good in the world. Who's the better man? Screwed up. Do the doggy style. Oh no. Oh, how you like that doggy style? And Mark Henry is handling the big Johnson. The Rock. I just, the Rock just jerked Helmsley off. Lita's here. Jerking the edge off. I'm here. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Dangerous. Sam Neely just jerked our troop off the turnbuckle. Jim's botches were mainly in the moment errors where he called wrestlers the wrong name. Starting out here, Jillian Hall, Molina, and now Beth Phoenix, who has obviously great strength and agility. No! It's a wizard! It's a no sex talk! No P1! And so we've got an undefeated team in Primo and Epico advancing in the tournament. Daniel Bryan offense. And by God, I meant to say Brian Daniels. I know what you meant to say. He's got to fight the big show Saturday night, and it will be, or excuse me, Sunday night. Got to start fast. Yeah, that's I'm going to allow Wardlow. Uh, Wardlow, my God. And the team led by that man, Michael Jacob Freeman, MJF. The WWE champion, Kenny Omega. There's nothing in your life that will top seeing a live WWE Dynamite. Booker T was a breath of fresh air any time he appeared on commentary. He made so many outlandish statements, we just had to include him on the list. His announcing had some botches, but mostly crazy comments. We'll highlight a mix of both for this entry. Brock Lesnar gets the, the beast, 
Brock Lesnar. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. The Brock defense, defense against Braun Strowman. <laughs> Braun Strowman. Hey, Shinsuke, this is Booker T. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Let me. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoa, You're going to make me walk Come on, man. Happy birthday to you. Happy work birthday, WWE <laughs> Network. No, no. Sidewalk slam. That, I don't think that was a sidewalk slam. It looked like a sidewalk slam to me. To the Adam Apple. What do you call that right there? The, the medulla I'm blah, 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 Just look at that Sinkara's boots. He's got a little black mark on it. This is the Sinkara right here that's in my face. Oh, no, you said the one with the black mark was the imposter Sinkara. Did I say that? Yeah, you did last week. Maybe they switch boots. There. What I'm talking about right there. Brian can go downstairs. He can put you on your back in a minute without you even knowing it. Book's commentary often had the other announcers confused, wondering what on earth the five-time WCW champion had just said, to the point where they likely repeated one of his famous catchphrases in their head. It's called favoritism. We're talking about the Balor Club. We're talking about Gallows, Anderson, and Balor. Yeah? That's not what I'm talking about. Well, obviously. Nobody there to help him. He's like on Gilligan's Island. He's stranded right now. There were like a bunch of people on Gilligan's Island, Book. <laughs> and what's your point? Wait a minute. Are you telling me they're off on points, right? They're off. <laughs> Booker, what are you talking about? Point. Point. Take that. Booker, you wish you had legs like that. Sometimes I do. <laughs> right on, yeah. oh my goodness. Right on the knee bone, connected to the ankle bone. Dean Cara, wow. Oh. And Daniel Bryan. Hip bones connected to the leg bone. What? I just cannot get over Oh, it. and Gable, though. He's game. Yeah, he completes a... You walked out as well, so you're a follower. Let me tell you, I had nothing to do with that. I'm totally neutral. I had to go to the bathroom. I thought the show was over with. I had nothing to do with that. Unlike with commentators, ring announcers aren't able to correct themselves after they've made a mistake. This can make their errors more noticeable. These include missed cues. A company to the ring by Ridge Holland and Sheamus. Weighing in at 205 pounds. A company to the ring by Xavier Woods. Been out of action for a number of months with an injury. The, the riot squad has been eliminated. No, I, I believe that was an no. error. <laughs> Yo! Oh, and and yeah. a body slam! This was not a submission match. Result of a submission. Getting tongue tied. The following is the uh, match two out of three falls. And it is for the WWE. He's a graduate of Harvard, Harvard, Harvard Law School, weighing in at 229 pounds, David Otunga. The first superstar to call to, to get a pinfall or submission. I was going to say, I didn't know Chimmel was back. <laughs> And announcing the wrong name or winner. Rick, the Hitman Clark. To face the reigning United States Heavyweight Champion, Brett Hitman Clark. Honoring the House of Black, Buddy Murphy. What the Big Meg, the champion, Jeff Hardy. And the Intercontinental Champion, Jeff Hardy. Opportunity for Alicia Fox. Watch out. Oh, God! That's a ring of bell. That's a ring Here is your winner, Sarah Logan. Introducing first, representing the Judgment Day. There's no cue cards in wrestling, so ring announcers have to memorize all their information, while also being razor sharp when explaining rules or making announcements. The likes of Lillian Garcia and Tony Chimmel have often been the butt of many jokes by the announce team, so whenever they screwed up, the commentators were usually right there to address their botches and make fun of them. Eva, Eva Marie, where is Lillian Garcia? Chimmel doesn't speak English anymore. Let me sit, let me first. Chimmel, you stink! You are horrible! You can't even get through a ring announcement! Oh, 
and it is for the World Wrestling Federation Women's Championship. Women. It's women's. A World Wrestling Federation a Women's Championship, <laughs> and it is the Gravy Bowl Invitational. <laughs> it's women's. The, uh, the, uh. The following is the uh, Gravy Bowl. WWE Champion Trish Stratus. Wait, 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 why is Trish the winner? Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Jack Swagger. Uh, Lately, it's actually Zack Ryder, but nonetheless. She is the WWE Women's Diva Champion. Look, even Lillian Garcia is a, is a little intimidated by the presence of the Glamazon. Her boy, the idol, oh. too much love in the the following is a triple threat match for the number one contenders Divas Championship. Wait a minute, before we get going here, did, did Lillian just say triple threat? It's I believe she did. It's one on one. Ring announcers certainly have a lot of info to tell us. Interviewers, on the other hand, will typically have a few short scripted questions to ask the wrestlers. But that doesn't mean things can't go wrong. Is this your first WWF event? I'm so excited I can't even talk. I guess Todd's the man. I, Todd, I have the new oh, intercontinental the new champion, Ray's Ramon. I mean, Double J, Jeff, Jeff Jarrett, he's right hey. here. DP, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, I like it. It's a nice ring to it. DP. She get confused sometimes. Dog. No, 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 <laughs> Forget, that's not me. You, know? you knew that was what came with the territory, though, of being the 24 7, 9, 11, 7, 46. But it's my baby, though. And action is coming uh, 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 tonight here. On the kickoff show, there's going to be all kinds of stuff. Why don't you wear shoes when you do these? <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> We'll give a special mention to Dasha, who later became a talented ring announcer in AEW. However, in WWE, she is remembered for speaking in a bland tone with robotic delivery. Sin City Smackdown is definitely living up to its name. Now, please welcome my guest, Rusa. And then last week, after you accepted McIntyre's match for a one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania, Marisa slap to, to, to Renee Young. Are you in the right mindset for your intercontinental ch championship match? Mindset! This is because the company wanted Dasha to tone down her personality so as to not take away from the wrestlers she was interviewing. They don't want us to uh, skew any opinions or create or form any biases about what's going on. Mean Gene Oakland is considered the greatest interviewer in the history of the business. He also has one of the funniest blooper reels of any wrestling personality. World Wrestling Federation magazine. Frank, take this home and have fun. Let's go some action. Oakland's outtakes are legendary, and they remind us of just how entertaining he was. World, put that cigarette out. Whether it was because of botches or due to Gene breaking character, it was hilarious to see his interviews go off the rails. May, may I say, did you send Booker T to go after Virgil or Vincent? Brett, Scott Hall, what are you doing? Here? Get my cable. Put me like a red headed, red headed stepson. I'm sick and tired of that type of treatment. Heenan, Weasel, whatever you guys want to do, just bring it on. All the people are going to hear the national anthem. And they're going to be standing loud. And they're going to be standing proud and tall. And they're going to hear that little tin cup jingling it around with change in it. Because when you step in the ring with the Hercules and the King. You use a ball to play cricket, is that correct? <laughs> that is correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ride Conan hard. Woo! And put him up wet. And then I want you to show the world. Aretha Franklin, I thank you. Shut up. They know who's the auto chic. They have the, the from John F. Kennedy Airport to the Los Angeles, California. I'm not about to lay down on my back and let someone cover me. I thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find no woman. I found a lot of men that look like women. Now you, Hulk Hogan, oh, what's wrong with you? He reminds me look like Hulk Hogan. Look at his son, look at him. Now that redneck stays down. Ah, tough. I'm not interested that idiot. Now if you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch our similar video where we rank the top 10 greatest ring announcers. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.